Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be looking at the Ciotti London's I Am a Woman What's Your Superpower palette that I did get in my June Lux Luxie Box Lux Box from Boxy Charm. So I do really like that they do have names of like historical like women. Um and for the most part like empowering women um and that um so just kind of getting in to the swatches so some of the colors right i was like uh they look kind of like similar but kind of swatching them together you can see like they are different um in that so we do have oh my god saying some of these names um i'm not gonna butcher people's names um but just kind of going across the palette um this way as much as i can okay i'm gonna butcher people's names and i apologize um so we have frida polo um so junior chief um joan of arc elenai panker Pink Curse, uh, Cleopatra, uh, Ruth ba Adder, Bader, Ginsburg, uh, Rosa Park, Eleanor Roosevelt, uh, Harriet Tugman, Junko Tabby, Eleanor Fitzgerald, um, Bessie Coleman. Then we go into Madam C.J. Walker, Marsha J. Marsha P. Johnson. It's a letter and I got it wrong. Um, Grace Hopper. Maya Angelou. Mae Jemison. Marie Curie. Claudette. Uh, Coveen. Podrika. There's no R in that. Uh, Amelia. Earhart, we have Hattie McDaniel, Amelia Robertson, and you. So I think that's cute that they add the you in there. Um, and then like hopefully kind of people look up some of uh, who these people are. Uh, for the most part, like I know I want to say like I know more than half so I'll definitely kind of look to see like who are these other people and I think like that's important just to like um like awareness helps right of all the different things um some of these people who have done which is really nice so I'm going to show you how I achieved this look so I'm going to go into my nice pale shade here tap off so I do find them like a little bit dusty of colors. So I'm just going to put this in my inner corner really to brighten things up because I am putting in a dark color and just kind of uh, applying it under my brow. So sometimes you can do this last. But I just wanted to go with a fluffy brush to save myself from cleaning one. So then I'm going to go into May Jemison. Jemison. And tap off. So you really don't want to swirl your brush because you will get a lot of like kick up. So I'm just blending that into my crease. And a little bit above All right so going closer to where my crease is and then kind of bringing it up a little higher when there's less product on it going into Harriet Tubman Tubman And putting this on my crease I'm 
I'm going to use my finger to go into Rosa Park. Just going into Rosa Park there. A nice really shimmery shade. Putting it close to my inner corner. Going with another clean finger into Ella Fitzgerald. Because I just find it a little bit like they're very similar. Right? Ella Fitzgerald. Gerald just has a little bit more almost like a micro glitter to it. It's a little bit more pink, a little bit more of a pop. This one's kind of like does kind of like transfer a little. So if that bothers you, kind of put on a setting spray or use a concealer, then apply it, let it kind of lock in there or an eyeshadow. Um, primer. Then I'm going to go into Marie Curry. Just with a fluffy blending brush. And blend it out on my lower lash line. I want it kind of big and extra because I'm just kind of winging it out and then kind of taking it up when there's not as much pigment on it just creating that shading With a liner brush, I'm going to do my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Spray it on my brush. Go into Hattie McDaniel. And almost like create like a paste. So for like gel liners, <laughs> you can use almost like your eyeshadows as like a little bit of a cheat to kind of get any color that you want. So I am just going to kind of apply this a little bit on my lower lash line right in there. And then taking it to my upper inner corner. And I'm going to go inwards to create that line I what I wiggled a little for some reason this eye was fine this eye tickles it tickles so much <laughs> I'm like oh I can't handle it trying to look for a smaller mirror but it's easy like I can just kind of wipe away because it's still wet Even inner wings. You can never just get them equal. I'm just picking up some more product. Just making sure it's nice and smooth. I just kind of um, working it into the brush on the back of my hand. I'm just going to kind of stamp on and that was a lot better, but it's just kind of like making my inner corner look a little bit bigger. I'm going to touch up my bottom there. 
because they are connected. Adding a little bit more setting spray and then continuing again work the product So I did add a little bit more uh, setting spray. So it's a little bit wetter. It's just gliding a lot easier. But I really like how you can add setting spray, um, pick up some product, mix it on like the back of your hand to really like create a liner of any color. You don't need to like, oh, I need a different liner. You can use your shadow to create it. I'm just going to deepen out the other side. So I was like pleasantly surprised. Like Ciate London, I think is like, it's okay. Um, sometimes I want their pigmentation to be a little bit more, but I really do like the colors of this palette. I'm just going to kind of lighten that inner corner a little bit more. Go under the brow bone, just to brighten things up pop on some mascara. I'm using my damn girl because I feel like it just gives me nice thick lashes. And I don't really want to put on falsies because then I feel like I'm losing that extra little bit of liner. I feel like if you have a bigger eyelid, you can kind of get away with making the liner a little bit thicker and then putting on a false lash because I like my magnetic lashes. And there's kind of my finished look. So I really like it. I do really like the shimmery colors in the palette. Um, they definitely kind of come up a little bit. Because it is transferring from my crease. I feel like it's not as bright. So I definitely want with this palette. Um, a setting spray just so things can last but I do think they're pretty pink colors it does remind me a lot of Huda Beauty's new nude so if you don't kind of want like one of the down shades with Huda Beauty's new nudes is it does kind of have some of these like sparkly shades um so like this one is giving you a lot of different colors and I think it's like a nice way of like um, spreading awareness about like you know they're like uh, good women role models out there. So thanks so much for watching guys. I hope you have a great day. Bye!